What's up guys? It's your girl Sienna. And I'm Brandon. Today is Wednesday and the theme is Rhyme Without Reason. I'm Wild West. And I'm Princess. Alright, now that that's over with, let's get talking to some more school spirit. Homecoming game is tonight. Before it, there will be a tailgate. And tomorrow is our homecoming dance, Kang Sino Night. Here's some more. Here are a couple reminders about homecoming. To start, today we have a tailgate before the football game at 5.45 p.m. The game starts at 7 p.m. against Redmond and the theme's Whiteout. The day after is Saturday and that's when the dance is. It goes from 8 to 10 p.m. I had tons of cool events like dancing, blackjack, and poker, and a refreshment bar. They forgot to say it, but also buy a ticket at the cash oh. register. At, talk to Kendria during lunch before school. I'll shave my head if we sell a thousand tickets. You can buy them at the cash register. Hey Kangs, I'll now be announcing your 2023 royalty winners. From Class of 27, we have Sullivan Christensen and Aria Kinkosis. From Class of 26, we have Noah Middleman and Brendan T. From Class of 25, we have Cody Runner and Oliver Farvar. From Class of 24, we have Anatole Duressa, JJ Anderson, Will Reinhardt, Tin Lin, Brandon Goodfried, Anna Comstock, and Tanishka Anand Kumar. Thank you so much and have a great night. Go Kangs. Oh, I said night. What's up Kangs? I'm Addison. And I'm Charlotte. It's another new week of Kang Sports and another KSPN. This past week, our fantastic girls soccer team beat Liberty 2-1 with Sophia Fox scoring in the first half and Aura Baker in the second. They play again at home this upcoming Thursday against Bellevue. Next up, Volleyball, who crushed it against Juanita this past week, winning 3-0. Yes, keep up those wins. This Monday, Volleyball faces Hazen, and the theme is Safari. Make sure you're there. And we've got lots of other King sports to look forward to this week. Football plays today at LDUB against Redmond for our homecoming game. Show up and show out for our boys to crush Redmond. Next, Cross Country is running homecoming night in Marysville at the Twilight Invitational. Good luck, Kings! And last but defini definitely not least, on Wednesday night, the Swim and Dive team competes against Newport. Be there to support our girls. Tune in next week for updates from the HOKO game and more. For KSPN, I'm Addison. And I'm Charlotte. And, and this, this is KSPN, KSPN Out! This year started off with a big change. Our school days now start and end 30 minutes later. This change was selected by the district as an effort to help students with problems like sleep deprivation and productivity. So, let's see what you have to say about it. What do you think about the new schedule changes? Um, they're kind of kind of mid. Um, I despise it in every possible way. Changes this year. I, I like it. I think I like it. Matt, I think the start time is great, you know. Go the district for doing that, I guess. I think they're terrible and the school board is immune to making good decisions. The warning kind of guy, but it is what it is, so I'm making the best of it. Oh, to be honest, it affected me a lot because now I have to like wake up a little bit later. You know, it's bad. It's bad. I think they're kind of booty because like I don't get no more sleep, honestly, and so um, I just have less time to do stuff after school. Um, I don't really like them. I barely have time for homework now, and I have a scheduled nap time right after school, so it kind of messes it up a little bit. I like it. I love them. I love having an extra 30 minutes in the morning. It's been awesome. Dark times, I don't like them, but I like them. I also um, like them even though it makes clubs go a little later, like sports and theater. Um, I still like it because it allows me to sleep a little more. Does it negatively affect your extracurriculars or outside school activities? Yes, I have less time between school practice. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, best one. It affects my free time. Harder classes and less time to do my work after school. Um, well, I work after school, so I'm going to take every shift now. I would say negatively because I have to be at school really early in the morning for clubs and stay really late after school for other clubs. Are you getting more or less sleep when you start class? It depends on the night too. Typically, I do think more or less sleep when I start class. Yeah, that's what I think. It depends on the night. Typically, I think a little less. Probably a little less, yeah, nothing, nothing better. I'm like a late start for football. I mean, I'm like really, I'm like tired a lot. But, you know, I guess that's like good for I'd say I definitely get a lot more sleep. Seniors! Kane Cruiser! Wednesday, October 4th at 2 p.m. We're going to go and have you park up front, wear your overalls, and decorate your cars. Yearbook will be there to take photos. This is a really great senior event, and it'll be so many memories, guys. Hope to see you there. 
The LWHS Theater Department is putting on their first show of the year in a week. Cast members Mira and Maya sat down to answer a few questions about their show, Self Composed. Hi, I'm Maya. I'm playing Charlie in Self Composed. And I'm Mira. I play Charlie's mom in Self Composed. And we're here to talk to you about the show. So, Mira, can you tell us a bit about what the show's about? Yes. Self Composed is about a kid named Charlie, their struggles with their gender identity, their best friend Tucker, his struggles with OCD, and both of their relationships with their families. So, why do you think this show is important for us? Um, the show is important because it brings light to topics that aren't often talked about in popular media and it gives a voice to people who also, uh, minorities who are underrepresented and showing their struggles. So this show deals with a lot of heavier topics. What are some of the content warnings when coming to this show? So our content warnings include gender dysphoria, OCD, parental issues, and suicide. So make sure to keep that in mind. So what's something really cool and interesting about this show process that you've noticed? Well, one cool thing is that the cast is only six people, so it's a lot of really personalized work since there's not very many of us and we get to dig deeper into some of the acting moments. Yeah, and speaking of that, our audience is actually going to be on stage with us so you get a much closer view of everything that's going on on stage. During intermission, we're going to have a fundraiser with the Lambert House. We're also going to have lots of different resources available in the lobby if you want to check those out. I'm Mira. And I'm Maya. And, and we, we hope, hope to see you at Self Composed. Self Composed will be performed twice on October 6th and 7th at 7 p.m. Tickets will be sold at the door and with a suggested donation of $5. A couple of clubs are having their first meetings next week. ASL Club is meeting Monday after school in room 242. And Robotics Club will meet Thursday after school in the Commons. Both clubs are happy to welcome new members. A reminder from Nurse Andrews. Cold and flu season is up here, Kings. You know, we all know, we gotta stay safe. Um, and also we're seeing a lot of COVID cases, so if you get COVID, stay home. Don't come to school, don't sneeze on people. Remember, washing your hands and uh, washing your face are both good things that are healthy for you. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Noah. I'm a senior this year, and I'm also your news director for Kang News. Being a senior means that I'm applying for colleges, and I want to go into like filmmaking, cinematography, that kind of stuff. Um, so, if you guys have any ideas about like films that you want made, or like if you wrote like a story and you think it'd be really good to visualize it, I need to expand my portfolio. So please, if you have any ideas, no matter how big, no matter how small, just send them to me. Email me. My email is gonna be. Where am I going to put it? Right here? No, right here. Um, that's it. Thanks. Bye. You should super do that. Yeah. Yeah. Again, Kang's homecoming game is tonight. The theme is Whiteout. Tailgates start at 5.30. Be there. That's it for this week's Kang TV News. I'm Sienna. And I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And go, go Kangs. Go Kangs.